Commencing the final observation report of caseworker Phil being assigned to the monochromatic verse of 47H stroke 9 as a photosynthetic being without humanoid optical organs meant relying on the keen observational senses of my distinguished arbiters in the case of private detective Ruth Bridget. Hesitant to hang up her fedora and trench coat, she required a nightclub disguise of multiversal magnitude, though I sensed her request may have revealed more than she anticipated. Arbiters delivered a copious buffet of chicanerous camouflage. Take this clever chair costume by Arbiter Tyler and this mechanical masquerade by Arbiter Misael. Brilliant indeed, but consensus shone solely on Arbiter Feathercloak's crow flapper. Upon delivery, after a few hours of successful sleuthing, she reported that it stopped feeling like a disguise, and I believe our arbitration may have liberated her from a strictly utilitarian sense of self-identity, proving once again that if you dare to gaze into the boundless multiverse, you just might find yourself staring back. Also, nobody noticed her. This concludes our arbitration. interrupt this final observation report for a breaking news update from BMA Today. After a string of macrophysical robberies, alleged interdimensional outlaw Jethrope Larson continues to evade authorities and is still at large. Tune in next cycle for more multiversal news from BMA Today.